Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and thank you for the super thanks. So I was asked on my other channel because I did a uh, spread involving Epstein's former BFF. He owned a modeling agency and he was found hung in his own jail cell with a... Uh, sheet. Uh, Kirby Summers channel. This is where I'm getting some of the ideas to do spread. So if you haven't followed Kirby Summers, you might want to check her out. Uh, so it is said that Marcus Anderson and Meghan Markle are very much enmeshed in this situation. Uh, they know a lot. So I was asked whether or not they will, it will come to light. If it will come to the forefront, will it be spoken about publicly? In essence, will it shine the light on them? Will there be any kind of um, public knowledge or, you know, will this, will this happen? Will this, you know, become more aware, basically? Um, let's first ask the pendulum. Will Marcus Anderson and Meghan Markle become known for their connection with Epstein? Will they become publicly known for their connection with Epstein? Will it? come to the surface? Will it come to the surface? Will the two of them being involved ever make it to the surface? And I'm getting no. Is it because they're just bit players? Is it just because they were small time players? Yes. Yes. Okay. So they're just small time players. They're going to probably ignore the small time players. She's, she was really nobody to him. Um, as I did on my other channel, Tarot Time with Andy, I got that Maxwell butted heads with Markle and didn't like her. So there we go. Wild child in reverse. <laughs> being being uh, basically shut out. Uh, Maxwell, on my other channel, I got that she ended up really not liking Markle. She wasn't someone she could work with. She's too difficult. Even Maxwell couldn't work with Markle. And so basically that wild child was put into reverse. We don't need your wild child ways, your spontaneous ways, her opinions. She was, you know how opinion she is. She opinionated she is. She doesn't really shut up. So it was due to that that she really um, did not get along with Maxwell. Maxwell needs to be in control. She was sort of uh, the female emperor in the situation and wasn't going to have any of Markle. So Markle was basically let go by Maxwell is what I got uh, because of, of Markle's ways. You know, Markle won't shut up. Uh, so this is basically putting her in reverse, uh, which was is in the caged in with negativity and depressed position. So she didn't like that. Markle didn't like that. Uh, neither did Marcus Anderson. I think they both were eventually at some point in time, let go. Let's get to the challenging position. Not trustworthy. That wand is down. Uh, the loyalty in reverse because the wand is down. Uh, drive in reverse. Talking too much in a negative sense, negative PR, uh, negative instincts, uh, not wanting the negative attention. Uh, you know, making excuses, uh, reckless, dangerous to have around. So she was sort of a dangerous proposition for Epstein and that whole clan. Same with Marcus Anderson. They just talk too much. They talk too much. They've got their own agenda. And I think they just, yeah, couldn't handle them. So let's get to the challenging position. Challenging position for Marcus and Megan and the Epstein connection and the Epstein connection challenging position for these bit players. Just a bit player is not going to get that much attention. Strength. Yep. Maintaining inner strength, calm, cool, and collectedness. Trying to stay balanced was the challenging position with them. They couldn't get them to stay balanced. They couldn't get their loyalty. Let's get to the feeling, the focal point, focal point. Focal point is the five of pentacles in reverse. So basically with the five of pentacles in reverse, um, this is, they, they realize that they need to recover from them. Uh, and they had to recover from it. And they didn't, this here is the outcast card, hardship, alienation. So they basically got abandoned, ignored, uh, and uh, cut off, feeling like they were too much of a hardship on them. And so as a result, uh, they had to heal from that little uh, slight. I would say it's a slight being removed 
and uh, tr having to heal from it. And so they felt they had to heal from that sort of struggle with adversity. Uh, there was a lot of struggles with them. She just doesn't like to be taking direction. She doesn't take direction from the queen. Why is she going to take direction from Maxwell? Not going to happen. So, yeah, this is Markle's problem a lot uh, in terms of any connections. She's got to do it her way and um, will not follow other people, which is fine uh, in the right conditions. I'd say in this condition it was right. Uh, good call. But uh, unfortunately, it is across the board with her. It's, it's her entire game plan. Uh, it, it follows her everywhere she goes. Uh, it doesn't change regardless of who she communicates with. It's always the same, the same. Uh, she's got the sickness illness here and having to heal. Uh, at least she thinks she's healing, but she's truly not. She's still an alienation, still a person of, um, of, um, controversy and problems everywhere she goes. Uh, that sickness does not go away. She might manage it. It's in more of a management position being in reverse because there's less conflicts, but they're still conflicted. That conflict does not go away. It goes everywhere she goes because she cannot tame herself from within. That is very much a challenging position. She cannot do it. She will always be sick. She will always feel an alienated from whatever group she goes into because she has dictatorship energy. Uh, a lot of negative energy with this wand down. Uh, and she does not like to go along to get along with anything. So let's get to the same with Marcus Anderson. So let's get to the hidden energy here. Hidden energy with Marcus and Megan. Hidden energy. Hidden energy. There we go. That popped. Heart chakra blocked. Making difficult choices. And um, consequences. This is a, a card of consequences. Having to choose which road you're going to go down. Uh, having to force yourself to. And go within and try and find wisdom. But their heart's not in it. So her heart was not in it. And she was too much of a challenge. And they didn't want to deal with her. So, yes, it's just they, she couldn't deal with them, and I don't see it happening. So, I see it. They're going to stay blinded. People will stay blinded, uh, and people aren't really going to be into it. And uh, it would be compromises. It will be uh, struggles and challenges if it would, would be to, but most people are going to stay blinded to it is how I feel to it because there's that blindfold on her eyes. Even though, psychically speaking, because we have the crows here, they're going to have a knowing feeling. People are going to stay blinded and they're just not going to really care that much because their heart's blocked by, ah, okay, whatever, she's toxic, we don't really care. Uh, and so just kind of being aware, but without proof, I would say. Uh, staying semi-blinded to the situation. Yeah, let's go into the past position that no longer serves. Past position that no longer serves. Past position that no longer serves is the seven of wands in reverse position. So this is losing the perseverance, losing that, you know, I'm going to keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, and here, this is like, nah, I'm not doing it anymore. Uh, feeling overwhelmed. And um, this is kind of given up on the situation. And uh, knowing that they put out, this could be the negative publicity here, the negative PR with the seven of wands, all the negativity of the wands in reverse. Like I said earlier, it's laziness, lack of energy, making excuses, feeling discredited. So Markle felt discredited by her ideas, all her ideas. Once again, she likes to tell everyone how to do things and what to do and how to do it. And her ways are always better. Uh, she was shut down. They felt that she was too volatile, volatile and dangerous to their operation. And same with Marcus Anderson. And they weren't going to protect. She didn't. She knew she wouldn't be protected. Um, which kind of brings me to the feelings which someone did mention about Harry and the security, the need of security, uh, needing to be protected if you're in that group. Um, and here, not having that, that's low boundaries, uh, having the boundaries wide open. So I think she also felt that she wouldn't be protected uh, by being connected. And they were not going to protect Markle from whatever behavior she did. If she continued to talk, and do things her way and not their way, we can't protect you. And so she knew that she wouldn't be protected uh, being linked to them as well. And they were not going to protect her. Uh, I think this is why Harry has security issues because he's probably aware of this 
and knows that they could be at risk. And that is another spread for another day. Or I could throw a few, but yes, I think there is this protection issue here, wanting to be guarded and staying perseverant. Uh, so yeah, and, and this is here like a very Zen mode, staying in your little protective bubble here, not feeling that protection. So yeah, that was kind of probably a scary experience. Let's go into the future, the future, the future, the future. It was a reckless decision to choose her, to have her. They, re they realized it was reckless, and that is gaslighting position. Lots of lies, you know, very reckless. And it was all a fantasy. It was all an illusion. Uh, this is kind of choosing which dream you want to choose. Which dream cup do I want to choose? Seven of Cups is very much about dreams and, and fantasy. Uh, what fantasy? It's like a fantasy game. And it just was kind of a reckless one. And it was a reckless choice to, to allow Markle in. And Marcus, let's get to the feelings in the situation, feelings in the situation, feelings in the situation. Boom. That did a little flippy. And it was for possession and to get material gains. It's the greedy miser card. Yep, she did it strictly for finances. They wanted to possess her. Um, but Marco doesn't like to be possessed or controlled. Uh, it's all about trying to gain stability with the earthbound energies of the pentacles, which is all earthly goods, people, uh, money, uh, opportunities, travel, seeing things, doing things, but you're also property. You also belong to them. You are mine. I own you. She realized it was very reckless to enter it. She, her heart was not in it. And, um, she had to stay somewhat blinded to what was screaming at her. She knew what was happening. And um, knowing there was no true protection here, that it was a very sick operation that you'd have to heal from, spiritually breaking you and um, energetically breaking you. Uh, low enthusiasm on her end, trying to stay strong, but it was a challenge. Oh, there goes my dogs. Just ignore them. So let's get to the... Outside influences, outside influences, outside influences. She probably sees a rabbit. I'm going to take just what's on top here, a judgment card. Yep, she had a wake-up call. Well, she did realize she could not balance her energy, I'll just say it. Had to leave. It's a sad goodbye. Uh, feeling triangulated and breaking free from it. Another leaving the burden behind. Knowing there would be no hope or healing in the situation. There is no silver lining, and so she took off. That little wild child took off to go do something else, in essence. Yeah, let's get to the hopes and fears, hopes and fears. So she get, she was kind of given her walking papers, and she willingly walked. Uh, the hopes and fears, hopes and fears, hopes and fears. Hopes and fears for Markle and Megan. She want to be her own speaker. I am a voice of reason. I am going to speak my truth. My truth, even if it's just an illusion, whatever it is, she's going to speak her truth. No one's going to shut me up. So, yeah, like my other channel, Tarot Time with Andy, uh, Maxwell couldn't get Markle to shut up. Her ideas, her ideas, wanting to control, not being able to be controlled, not liking being controlled. Nobody, should, nobody can control Markle. <laughs> Uh, she won't follow anybody. She thinks she is the thought leader. She thinks she's going to be the president of the United States. She thinks she is going to be a voice of reason for the globe. That's how sick she is. That's how demented she is. She will never be well. She will always be sick. That will never change. She can manage her traits sometimes, but uh, the core is still there. It will never change. Her core will always have a broken heart. Her, her core will always be a blocked heart chakra. It really doesn't care about other people. It's always about her voice. Same with Marcus Anderson. It's all He's got female energy uh, because we know he's, um, he's gay. So he is very feminine. He has a very feminine energy. And so I would say that applies to both of them, that Queen of Swords um, position there. So, And they're like BFF. They're like girlfriends, basically. Uh, and she is very passionate about him, as we've seen by photographs. She's more passionate about Marcus Anderson than she's ever been about Harry. Very connected with him. 
Let's get to the final call here, the outcome with Maxwell. And will this come to light? Will this come to light? Will this ever come to light about the two of them being involved with Epstein? Will it ever come to light? Will it ever come to light? Will it ever come to light? There we go. We got here the Knight of Swords. I would say they're running away from it. That's how I feel looking at this. Now we're running away from it. We're going to go on another mission. I'm jumping on my my motorcycle here, which can be another night, night horse. And um, I'm going to go do something else with my time. I'm leaving. I think they wanted to get the hell out of there quickly, as fast as possible. At some point in time, they just, yeah, this isn't worth it. Let's leave. Let's leave. Let's leave. Let's get out of here. Uh, and do something else. We can go on another mission because the Knights are about going on a mission. Um, it is about self-reliance. We're not going to let them take care of us. We're going to take care of ourselves. I am very self-reliant. I don't need the crutch of them to help me. Uh, it's a workhorse card. And we're going to stay the slow and steady pace together. You and me, Marcus, we're going to stay the course together. We can be workhorses together and we can accomplish what we want. And we are going to win the race. It's a long, slow, steady race. One step in front of the other. And we're going to go on our own mission. We're going to go on our own mission and cut through the clouds. So I think they decided at that point, getting free, we can't do this. Let's go our own way. Because uh, we're both thought leaders, Marcus. The two of us together, we can we can crush it. We can crush it, the two of us together. And then here we go. And then they like to possess one another. This is a possession. We're sticking together. Let's get to the center of the deck. Yeah. So yeah, we're not gonna we you know we're we're not gonna let them take us down. It's Daddy Dearest. I think they thought uh, Epstein was Daddy Dearest here with the Emperor in reverse. Very abusive. Um, controlling, um, you know, and they're not wanting to, they know they couldn't win with him. They couldn't win with him. It was just a crash and burn with him. They probably figured he's going to crash and burn eventually. You don't want, we don't want to be there when it happens. We don't want to be there when it happens because he is going to crash and burn and he is going to fall. He is going to break and let's get out of here. It's probably a good time to leave. So I think they left knowing and knowing that, yeah, his lies, the seven of swords, he's a snake. He's a snake, and this isn't going to work out. Uh, we're not going to get our corn. This is not where we're going to get our cornucopia with the eight of pentacles in reverse. It's simply not worth it because he is going to crash and burn. He will fall apart because people are going to see him for what he is. He is touchable. He thinks he's he's untouchable, but he's touchable. So he's going to he's going to break. He's going to break. They're going to come after him for his lies, and his whole operation is going to fall apart. And he'll never be able to overcome it with the Eight of Pentacles. He might have his cornucopia at one point in time, but they they kind of felt that his cornucopia was going to come to an end uh, due to all the lies and deception. So, yeah, I think they, they got a break from Maxwell. Uh, I don't see it happening. They decided, yeah, we're just, we are, we, we're going to crush it together. We're just going to crush it together. But they're both sick together. They're both sick. They both have the same illness. And that's why they're super like-minded. There was no protection. I think that's why Harry is so so um, uh, anxious. Uh, a viewer said that his hands are really trembling in a recent clip or something, just trembling hands. That's his nervous system. His nervous system is completely whacked out right now. Uh, he has anxiety, and that's his fight or flight, just being really triggered. So he's really fearful, and I think part of this whole security thing has a lot to do with the fact that Marco was involved, and she may have leaked it to him. They, he may, he's probably aware of it. So I'm going to ask the pendulum that. Is, is Harry aware of this connection? And is this part of the reason? And then using, using, you know, oh, the UK isn't safe. All that is an excuse because really what it boils down to, uh, they're fearful that someone can come after them. So is it the Epstein connection of Markle that has Harry, has his nervous system into a wreck? Is that part of the problem with the security? Is part of the security problem the Epstein connection? Is part of the security problem the Epstein connection that Markle and, Markle and Anderson had together? Is it part of the problem? Yes. Does it truly have much to do with the UK being unsafe? Does it truly have anything to do with the UK being unsafe? No. No. I'm going to ask again. Is it more to do with Marcus... 
and Markle's connection to Epstein. Yes, I'm gonna ask again. Does it have anything to do with the UK being unsafe? Feeling unsafe, does it really have anything to do with that? No, it does not. No. So is he using that as an excuse? Is that his excuse? His scapegoat excuse? Yes, it is. So there you go. Now we know why he goes on and on and on and on about security. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.